Hello, I'm Tom Wigglesworth, and I'm here at Up the Creek in Greenwich for the eighth hit of the BBC Radio New Comedy Awards. The advice I would give to the new comedians is to um, go with it. Whatever you've practiced, um, trust it, have faith in it, deliver it like you mean it, and uh, above all, have fun. I live in Brighton. In Brighton, home birth is a really big deal. Um, People always say, oh, you're pregnant, you're having a home birth, you're having a home birth. They say, home birth? I have to ask a man permission to put blue tack on my bedroom wall. I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to just give birth all over the living room floor. <laughs> and I was out the other day and I found the most amazing thing. I found the most middle class thing I've ever found. It was Waitrose own brand condoms. <laughs> now, I don't know if you've seen these, they actually come in two flavours. Shame and guilt. Give a man a fish. Feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish. Feed him for life. Are we familiar with that one? Yeah. Uh, stop teaching Africans how to fish. <laughs> Most of Africa is desert. <laughs> I've worked out, I've worked out, stag dudes. I know what they are. They're a covert operation by the BNP. <laughs> Got to be. The BNP are taking the least pleasant people in British society, loading them on Ryanair flights and sending them out to European capital cities to discourage migrant workers. <laughs> I've always had my suspicions, but then I finally discovered I definitely am boring when I caught myself saying out loud, wow, at a train. <laughs> Put my card in a reader. Now, you know how when you enter your pin, there's always that few seconds that your card can never get accepted or declined. That's the difference between success and failure. During which my faith was tested. I don't have asthma, I temporarily got asthma. That's how bad it was. When I found out I was having all boys, a lot of people asked me whether I was disappointed at not having any girls. And I explained that after waiting so long to have kids, I genuinely didn't care whether I had boys or girls. And that when it comes to it, the only thing that really matters is that they're all more successful than my brother's children. <laughs> yeah, my name is Gregory Aikerman, and I am my own worst critic. Okay, that is, that is something that I used to say. It's something that used to be very important to me. I held it close. Um, then, then I started getting reviewed. Um, <laughs> turns out, I am not my worst critic. The Metropolitan Police, in their wisdom, decided that they were going to allow me and pay me for two years to work as an undercover football hooligan. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I was really good at it. <laughs> I got to the point where I was like, Naomi, look, I'm going to throw the gauntlet down. Like, you can have the house, I'm having the dog, that's it, that's fine, we're done. And when I said it, it kind of made me realise why you see quite a lot of homeless men. <laughs> that have dogs, you know. I entered the award because my mum always said to me, you'll never be a comedian, and um, now she's dead, I want to prove that I can be. I want to make a big impact to put my foot in the soil. Like, yeah, this guy is here. This guy, you have to deal with him. I've entered it because it's the BBC and it's the only voice, uh, independent voice I ever heard growing up, other than government propaganda growing up in Kenya. I met Angela Barnes, who won it a few years ago, and she just said it was like the best thing that she had ever sort of done. And it, she sort of went from doing it as a hobby to sort of doing it professionally, which is kind of like what I want to do. Winning the award would be amazing, obviously, uh, but I, you know, I'm just happy to be here, really. It would be very memorable because we're, we're, my wife and I are having a baby very soon, so it would be around about the same time as that. Mm -hmm.